Got him, got him. That is pretty freaking insane. Let's go! Oh! Still running! Alright, alright. GFA will work in blue models. This is the model of the fish. Y'all can probably see that fish back there. That thing is huge. Yeah, and we actually have a chance of catching one of those. Probably not that big, but something like that would be really, really awesome to show you guys on the channel. All right, y'all, what is going on? So I, yeah, I wanted to come in the pool for a bit, but as y'all can see, we made it. We made it here to St. John. Guys, look at this. This view is literally incredible. Look at that. That's amazing. A couple bays, a couple beaches in mind. We're going to try to hit up over the next few days. I am really, really excited. This is the St. John series. It'll probably consist of about five different videos, five or six. Uh, one of them being a charter actually going after some pretty big offshore deep sea fish, uh, including marlin and tuna, which I am super, super stoked about. That being said, I'm going to take another dip in the pool, and I'm going to get ready for tomorrow's fishing adventure. I'll see you guys then. All right, guys. Well, we made it. We're here at Francis Bay. I'm in the rocky area over here, obviously, because I can't fish in the swimming area over there. So I'm going to fish along these rocks. Uh, yeah, water. Water looks amazing, guys. This is beautiful. Let's see what we can catch. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, we'll catch a barracuda. Uh, any other larger fish, uh, predatory fish in the area. I got a couple rigs. So I'm going to show you guys everything I tied on in just a second. All right, so as you guys can see, we got two rigs today. I brought two rods on the trip. We got ourselves a medium spinning combo here uh, with the loose Mach 1 spinning reel and then a different pole that I got. And then we also got ourselves a little Castmaster lure, spoon, and this should be perfect for multi-species, medium-sized fish, probably even kudas could take this. We also have our much larger rod for probably larger game fish. I don't know if I'm going to use this today, probably not, but we got a big Yozuri tied on. We got a spoon on. Oh, fish. Got something, got something, we got something. Here we go guys, we're on a fish. What have we got? <laughs> well, that is certainly a first fish right there. That is a lizard fish. Oh, well, check it out, y'all. First fish of the day, this awesome little lizard fish. Got both barbs stuck in the top of his mouth. Last time I caught one of these was, funnily enough, in the Hudson River. Wow, its teeth are pretty insane. It's got some really beautiful, you know, pattern on its back. All right, sorry guys that that release was kind of fast. I wanted to get fish back in the water as soon as possible because they die fairly quickly once they get out of the water. You swam out fine, but I had to be careful. So I couldn't get too many shots on the big camera or the underwater camera for that matter. That guys was pretty awesome. First fish of the St. John series. So that was pretty awesome guys. Let's go ahead and catch some more fish. All right guys, so it is actually the following day. I was unable to catch anything else today at the beach, which really sucked, but I'm out here at a different beach today. The water is crystal clear and there's a lot of barracuda and I saw some needlefish and some lizardfish in the water. So I'll probably catch a lot of stuff on the spoon today. I also got myself some cup bait and a chicken rig. Try to do some bait fishing for some tropical reef fish to finish this video off. All right, let's get into the fishing. All right, y'all, first rig I got out here, I got myself a little spoon. Uh, yeah, let's do a couple casts and see if anything's out here. Oh, 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 geez. Did you guys see that? A needlefish and a lizardfish both went for it. There we go, that's a fish. 
<sighs> Finally, what do we got? Oh, well, but isn't another friendly lizard fish. Oh, well, the fish actually got away, guys, before I could show you on the larger camera, but fish is a fish, first one of the day, another lizard fish, second one of the video. That's another fish. Okay. What do we got this time? Is that another one, really? Dude, there are too many of these things here. Too many freaking lizard fish, man. Hey guys, well, check it out. We got ourselves on another lizard fish. I think we've been plagued by these guys, but still, pretty awesome little fish. Let's go get a release. A few moments later. All right, guys, so that was kind of a bit of a bust. I lost pretty much all my dropper rigs, and I tripped over a rock, and my GoPro mic adapter got wet. I'm really worried about it, so I got to clean it off. I'm not going to use it right now which is I can't really do any fishing at the moment. So I'm gonna go and do some snorkeling and I'm gonna show you guys what I see. I think you're pretty cool. Uh, anyway guys, hope you guys enjoy. Let's hop to it. Well, I'm not gonna lie. First two days of fishing have not really been that great. I have not gotten any hits from any of those fish that I really want. And also, I've only been catching lizard fish. I'm gonna caught two species, intro lizard fish and sand diver lizard fish. Now, I did catch three more fish than I did yesterday. That's true, but you know, not really ideal. You know guys, don't worry. The content's going to improve a lot. I promise you guys, once I figure out how to really nail down these fish, it's gonna get a lot better. And also there's gonna be some really awesome videos coming up, especially the upcoming video where I'm gonna do an offshore charter for some uh, tuna, mahi, and marlin. So that should be really awesome, guys. Hopefully you guys like the underwater footage and the snorkeling and some of that stuff. I'm trying to spice it up a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Now that we reached the 500 mark, please make sure to hit the red subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. What is cranking guys, it's Chris here, and welcome back to another video of the St. John series, which I'm gonna have to change the name, that kinda sucks. I need a better name than that, but today guys is a very, very special day, not only for the series, but for the whole channel. This is the second time the whole channel, guys, that we're gonna go offshore again. First time was in Hawaii, in the Hawaii tour, where we caught the awesome Wahoo, and we're gonna do some deep sea fishing for tuna and marlin. We can also probably catch Wahoo too. I am super, super excited. It is 5.40 a.m. We have to catch a 6.15 charge, so I gotta speed things up. But before we start the video, guys, about 83% of you guys are not subscribed. Please tell me to reach 1,000 thousand subscribers there's always room for the channel to grow please make sure to hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell and now we have to get to the charter i'll see you guys at the boat ramp yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right what's going on guys we just arrived at the charter with captain rob here so uh what, what are we going to catch today what do you think we're going to be going for first so time? first thing we're going to do is we're going to run out to the north drop and we're going to try to target yellowfin tuna and mahi mm -hmm. Um, we've been catching them up there the last couple weeks, so we're gonna try to keep it going. We're gonna be throwing a mixture of live baits on the surface and live baits down deep. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens, guys. This is gonna be an awesome trip. Let's get fishing. Call them sprat down here. The rear people eat these things too. <laughs> you can even look up Caribbean sprat recipes. All right, guys. We just cast out the live baits. I think there's already a mahi. 
coming out towards it. Okay. That's a fish. Fish on. Ah, we saw it. Yeah. Oh no, he got it. No, he's done. There we go. There we go, guys. Fish on. Water. Good, Chris. All right. Nope. Come back. Come back. Another one there. Look at the other mahi. Right there. First fish. This is the first mahi I've ever had on. He's right at the boat. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Get one more in. Oh, Ryan's on a mahi there. Oh. Got him. Right, Let's the bail, go. The bail, the bail. Let's go, guys. First mahi I've ever caught. Right there. We got ourselves on the first fish of the day. It was awesome. Awesome mahi. Still alive. There's gaff up. First mahi I've ever caught. This is a brand new species. Awesome. Awesome fish. That is pretty crazy, guys. Alright, let's go and put them in the cooler. Alright guys, I'm gonna, we just got the other fish in the cooler, now we got another mahi right here. This is a pretty cool fish. Alright guys, mahi is, okay, he doesn't like that. Oh my god, there we go. Good fish. Oh my god, okay. Good fish guys, second fish of the day right here. It is madness, I'm not even able to keep up with the, with the action. There we go, second mahi, right there. I right, open the bail, brother. Gorgeous fish. Oh, sorry, there you go. All right, we're good. Hey, the good thing about them, they don't have any fins that'll get you. Yeah. Easy to hold. There we go, guys, second fish of the day. Non-stop action, like five minutes, we got two, two Dorado. Pretty, pretty awesome fish. All right, there we go, guys. Here are the mahi so far, three nice mahi. Just dropped down another pilchard next to the buoy. That is, uh, this is gonna be pretty insane, guys. This is where the yellowfin are supposed to be. Never actually caught fish in this rod, so I have to, uh, I gotta catch something on this. Oh! We got him! Oh my god! Alright, whoa, hey, take your drag. Okay. Hey, this, hey, you got a yellowfin. Let's, uh, right. reel this stuff in and let him have the show for a second. There you go, alright. Oh, oh mahi, it's a mahi, okay. There we go, guys. Got another mahi on. That went off on a crazy run. I thought that was a... You uh, climbed that thing. I thought it was a yellow A tuna tail. <laughs> yeah, that's, There we go, guys. It's a good mahi. Or better than the one I caught before. Still. Make him right behind you, brother? Yeah, yeah. Woo! Uh, decently far out. Oh! Still running. Uh, this side. Oh my god. Alright, here we go guys. Oh. oh my god. I gotta tighten this thing a bit. I can handle more than that. Yeah. Didn't even seem like that big of a Dorado when it came up he's fighting pretty hard. Alright guys, bring this guy in. He's pretty far out there. Nice and easy, Christopher. That's a nice mahi, brother. Yep. Oh. Oh my god. Alright. There he is. Good Dorado, good Dorado. Nice bowl. Nice bowl. Alright guys, go and get this guy in. Nice bull, brother. Thanks, man. Let's go! Oh, close enough. Close, close, close. There we go. That is a good fish. Open the bail, open the bail. So the audio for this clip actually did not come out at all, but this is, as you guys can see, the biggest Dorado of the day, about 13 pounds. Uh, fork length was 32 inches and overall was 38 inches. So it was a crazy, crazy catch. Definitely place in the top five uh, biggest fish I have ever caught. That was pretty awesome guys, third fish of the day, three mahi so far, biggest fish of the ship also, I got a 13, 15 pound mahi, let's go and see what else we can catch. We got some yellowfin jumping out here, yellowfin tuna. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, we got one? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, hey. Oh. Alright, Rob just got it. Okay, that's the tip. Alright, here we go. Okay. Hey, this is light tackle, my man. Okay, guys, don't horse it, don't horse it. 
You gotta work it. How's the drag? Uh, right. we'll see. Huh? Alright, guys. Are you still there? Did he get off? Oh, it's not. Yeah. Damn. Dang. Alright, guys, my dad just got on a good mocky. Oh, birds are diving. Oh my god, that's crazy. It's about to bring another lock. I think. Alright, got him! There we go! Another awesome thing. These guys are insane. First part of the trip, we got on some good uh, Dorado, Mahi. Got five nice Mahi. We also were on two yellowfin early on, they both broke off. Sadly. Alright guys, long story short, didn't catch anything else. It kind of sucked, but still guys, really awesome. We caught three Mahi. One of them was like 15 pounds, the other one like maybe five or six pounds. It was a it was pretty awesome, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We cut up all the fillets. I'm gonna show a brief of that right now. As you can see that orange stuff right there, that is all fish eggs. That's pretty cool. Now, well, that's the stomach test. You gotta have pilchard, two pilchards. Oh man. It's always cool to check the stomach content and see what oh, they're yeah. eating. And of course, none of this would be possible without Captain Rob's help. Thank you so much, man. Hey, man, my pleasure. Uh, you know, we tried for the yellow fin today, had a couple good hookups that were hammering the bait. Yeah, they were breaking off. So that's, that's, the way, though, that's, that's the way it goes. Got some good money. Right? It's yeah. good having you guys on board. It's a little rough out there in the North Atlantic, but, you know. <laughs> it was awesome, though. It was awesome. Five awesome. Mockies, though. It's a great trip, man. So thank you so yeah, much. Thanks again, Chris. Nice to have you on board, man. Oh. What is going on guys? So we got showered, changed job, rested up a bit. Back here at the villa and we're gonna go ahead and do a mahi, uh, well catch is already done. So a mahi clean and cook. So let's focus on cooking the fish. I'll show you guys the whole process. It's gonna be awesome. We're probably gonna do some seasoning. We have salt, pepper, and olive oil. Next, we're going to cut the steak into segments uh, to get some Nice segments to put on the grill. All right, and then we're gonna do some seasoning. Some olive oil. And the last little ball of this, we got the grill and we got the fish right over there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, grill the fish. Here we are. We have the mahi here, got some broccoli, potato right here, and then we have right over here. Let's first just get a bite with the fish by itself, like that. All right, you guys ready? Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. It actually tastes really similar to the, um, the Yono itself. It's a white fish, just like the Wahoo, but it's very tender. Um, pretty sweet, kind of melts in the mouth. It's pretty good. Basically the freshest mahi you're ever gonna get. So this fish is swimming in the ocean, you know, guys, just like six hours ago. I'm gonna go in and finish up this dinner and then let's go ahead and wrap up the video. All right, guys, so I actually just completely passed out after eating that dinner. I just completely forgot to record an outro. Awesome, awesome day though. Gotta say, one of the best videos of the series. That mahi was a crazy catch and I think the video turned out really, really nicely. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button, special notification bell, leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys on the next episode of the series. Catch y'all later. Well, what's going on guys? Chris here back again with another episode for you all today. So as you guys can see, it is really early right now, 6.30. I actually got up at six to get everything ready. So as you can see, we got everything set up right over here. Today, guys, we got something pretty special planned. We're heading out to another beach. Uh, I have not been doing too well with beach fishing. I, I, that's something I've definitely noticed. I've really not caught a whole lot with spoons. I'm gonna just really test out everything I have in my tackle arsenal, and we'll just see what works, man. Last time I checked, uh, about 82% of you guys are not subscribed. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and let's get to the third episode of the series. All right, guys, as you can see, we made it down to the beach. This is probably one of the uh, most beautiful beaches I've ever fished at. Uh, we've gone out a little jerkbait for a bit, and I actually had some popcorn followed in, so I think we can do with the spoon. I'm going to come up the jerkbait, put up the spoon, and I'll see you guys at the water. Right. 
So basically after coming home, after the entire trip was over, I came back and looked at the audio and I realized there was no audio. It just didn't exist. If you guys remember in the first episode, the mic actually got a little bit wet. It worked perfectly fine on the Mahi chart. But after that, it just didn't work apparently. So, so basically, this is just gonna be a different kind of video. It's gonna be more of me doing a voiceover. I considered omitting the whole video, but some pretty crazy stuff happened in this video, so I decided I wanted to include it and give this a shot. We started off today throwing out a spoon at all the flats. For those of you who are curious, the beach we were at was Cinnamon Beach at St. John. Uh, and it's very well known for its beautiful scenic cliffs and caves all around the bay. It has a lot of sandy flats and does have a coral reef a bit farther out. And within the first 20 minutes, we hooked up to the first fish of the day, as you guys can see. Wow, check it out, y'all. Okay, stop. There we have it. First fish of the day, a little inshore lizard fish. Not at all what we wanted to catch, but fish is a fish. All right, let's go and get a release. Basically, we gotten rid of the skunk, and uh, yeah, we were on our way. Continue doing casts up and down the shore to see what we could bring in. Uh, and I got a lot of follows, especially from these little pompano-like fish. I don't know what they were, but if you looked in the water, it was very, very clear. You can see them swimming around. Yeah, within the next 15 minutes, we got on another fish. I know you. All right, y'all, well, second fish of the day. Oh my God. Stop. Take a fish of the day. Little lizard fish. That is a pretty cool looking fish. Look at that eyeball. And as you guys can see, it was just another friendly lizard fish. Not anything to brag about. Obviously, that's all I've really been catching off the beach. In fact, I have not caught anything else besides a lizard fish so far on the trip from the shore. Now, don't get me wrong, it's always a lot of fun to catch fish on lures like spoons, but after a while, I can get a little bit repetitive and a little bit boring. Right away, uh, after a couple more casts, got another lizard fish. Third fish of the day. All right, awesome, go. That was that. Basically, we continued casting the spoon. I continued casting lures for quite a while. So eventually, I reached the very end of the beach. Now, keep in mind, there was nobody on this beach. It was completely desolate up until a little later in the morning. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and throw out some bait. Basically, for bait, I had some of the mahi rib meat, and I was throwing that on a chicken rig I had tied on the previous day. All right, y'all. We got the chicken rig tied on now, decided to change it up a bit. We're gonna see if we try to catch some of the reef fish from the rocks. So I waded out pretty far, tried to get as close to the coral reef as I possibly could with the bait, cast it out there and let it soak for about 15 minutes. This is when the crazy stuff happens. I got a very, very strange bite. It was incredibly subtle. I saw the rod tip just kind of moving ever so slightly downward. So I set the hook as hard as I could and I felt like I set into a rock. Uh, and all of a sudden, it went off on this crazy run for like, you know, 15 seconds. And I couldn't stop it. And I could tell this was a heavy fish, whatever it was. I thought, you know, maybe I just caught a grouper or some type of snapper. Basically, that's when the audio actually managed to come back. We got some good though. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. What on earth? What is that thing? It's a big fish. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. What have we got? Oh, no. That's a stingray. That is a stingray. Okay. I was not expecting to get this today. Okay, here's why I have to give my disclaimer. There are a couple things you guys should know. First of all, just in general about fishing in a national park, which St. John, most of the island, like 80% is national park. As long as you're not in a swimming area, which is why I moved to the very, very possible end of the beach. Farthest you can possibly go. I was not fishing in a swimming area. I did everything I could to make sure there were no swimmers in the area while I was fishing. Not to mention the fact we got up at 6 a.m. to get to the beach before the crowds arrived, before any people arrived, to make sure that I'd be fishing in an area where there were not a whole lot of people. But from what it looks like, St. John actually does not have any special protection for southern rays. They're just like any other fish, but just to be safe, in case I miss something, I was not targeting the ray, I was looking for reef fish. The very idea of me catching a ray didn't even cross my mind. Alright guys, check this thing out. This is the fourth fish today, first ever stingray I've ever caught. This is an Atlantic stingray or a southern stingray, not exactly sure. He's got a bar, we gotta be really careful. I was not planning on catching a ray today, guys. So I don't know how I'm gonna be able to unhook this thing, but let's, let, let's see what we can do. I was really nervous that, you know, I had to get this fish back in the water as quick as possible. My dad actually helped me out and we put the flipper on top of the bar. We were able to get the hook out in a reasonable amount of time and uh, we got the fish back in the water. Uh, he rested for a few minutes and then swam off perfectly fine. So 
everything ended well, everything is fine. Well guys, that was pretty insane. I was not expecting that at all. We'll see what happens guys. Let's go in and see what else we can catch. All right guys, while well, I am back at the villa, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. But overall guys, we caught some lizard fish and you know, there was a lot of action in the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That being said guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers and please make sure to hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. What's going on guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video, the fourth episode here at the island. We're going to be doing the second part of the video, originally intended to be combined with the uh, last episode. I decided to separate the two videos and now we have an individual video right here for the boat fishing trip. Now this isn't a fishing charter, this is actually a snorkeling charter. We're going to be doing some pretty cool reef fishing and if we're lucky, you know, maybe we can find a spot with some tarpon, barracuda. That being said guys, we have to head out in like 20 minutes after to get everything ready. I'm still trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach 500. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button smash the notification bell and i'll see you guys at the boat all right guys we're on the boat i'm gonna go to the first snorkeling spot and i'll drop a couple lines when we get there <laughs> we'll see what we can do just seeing a couple casts with the ozuri just see if there's anything just in the rock i'll see if we can catch some fish near the rocks here see what we can catch Oh, got something. Got him. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I am plagued with these things. First fish of the trip. Got ourselves a little lizard fish. All right, guys, there we go. First fish of the day. A little lizard fish. We have to get him back pretty quick. What's going on guys? Made it to the spot. This is a very rocky beach. Quite a beautiful one in fact though. I was throwing on the cast master. I got smacked a couple times by something. So I think this should work pretty well. Let's see what we can catch today. Pretty stoked. All right, I'll go out into this water right here. Let's see what we can catch. Yeah, watch out for those sea urchins. Damn. Those things will mess you up. I guess saw there's a squid right next to the shore. A little Caribbean reef squid. <clears throat> Guys, we had a big, big schoolmaster snapper cover to try to crush this thing. A few moments later. Alright guys, I was doing some bait fishing and I just hooked up to something. Oh, there we got it. A little squirrel fish picked it up. This here is a uh, long spine squirrel fish. Haven't caught one of these in a couple years. Pretty sick looking fish. I mean, look at those colors, man. A fish is a fish. That is pretty cool. Let's go and get a release on the fish today. I was using a little J hook. Basically, this is just like a micro fishing session now. I'm trying to catch these little reef fish, knock off some new species. Oh, got him. There we go, guys. Now the fish. Are you kidding me? Really, second fish, another little long spine squirrel fish. Really don't have to show you guys this on the other camera because you guys probably don't care. Had a pretty good hit there. Oh my. Look at this little thing. And there we have it, another long spine squirrel fish. Oh, why keep on catching these guys? We got some fish jumping right over here. Let's see what they are. All right, come on, fish. Got him. What do we got here? Check it out, guys. Look at this fish. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous little wrasse. Not sure what kind, but a fish is a fish. There we got it. How cool that thing is though. Wow. All right, let's go and get a lease on our awesome fish. Another one of these guys. Look at that thing, guys. There we got it. Our fifth fish of the day. Another, oh, there we go. That is a pretty cool looking fish. All right, let's go and get a release.
As y'all can see, I have decided to throw on a popper. Why, I have no idea. I just have not been catching fish. So, a lot of fun using this thing too. Just throw it out there and wham. Oh, 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 Blue Runner chased it, Blue Runner chased it. Come on, take it easy. First fish of the Jack family on the trip so far. We got ourselves, oh, there we go. It's beautiful, beautiful fish. Blue Runner. Uh, last time I caught one of those guys was in Florida. Oh, there he goes. Not gonna lie, guys, that was pretty sick. Just smashed the popper. Dude. Right as I was saying, I'm not gonna get anything on this popper. So that's pretty cool. When there's one blue run, it's usually a school of them. So let's see what we can catch. All right, guys, the bite's kind of died down. I'm gonna do a little snorkeling and let's see what we can find. I think it'd be pretty cool. Some days there's no one else who loves me like you used to. Some days I'm not myself. There's no one I can turn to. All the feelings that we share are in the past. Your relationships are never meant to last. Saw bait ball pilchers, you know, really isn't that usual. I think it was a pretty good day, I thought. We, uh, yeah, we caught three long spine squirrel fish, the two of that wrasse species, and then caught a blue runner on the popper, which is probably the highlight of the day for me. That was really awesome. Big blow up in a, you know, I don't know. I thought it was really interesting. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Obviously, I want to try to target some bigger fish, but caught, uh, three different species of fish other than those fish from the shore. So, I felt like it was pretty successful. We have one more outing left to do for uh, the St. John trip. So hopefully we can yield some pretty promising results. Maybe even bring in a barracuda or two. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, especially the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace. What is on, right, guys? Chris here, back again. We're gonna a video for you all today. Yeah, I got up really early. It's like five something right now. So as you guys can tell, this is sadly the last and fifth episode of the St. John series, which I have yet to name. We'll see what we can do. We're doing something pretty special. If you guys remember in the second episode, I was fishing uh, before we got on the boat at the boat harbor. I saw some tarpon blowing up with the fish, Sarah mackerel. I saw some yellow jacks. So we're gonna be heading over there, guys. We don't have a lot of time. We only got one hour, so I gotta make every minute count. That being said, guys, I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. I believe like 82% of you guys are not subscribed. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys at the boat harbor. Right, so as you guys can see, we made it to the boat dock. Water is really, really clear. I saw some tarpon over there. Let's see what we can do. We got ourselves our mahi bits right here. I'm gonna go ahead and tear off a chunk, just like so. Tarpon literally right over here. It just came up and uh, boiled. Usually there's some pretty big fish in the harbor other than tarpon as well. So I really want to see if we can get something to bite. something oh my let me grab it guys let me grab it and then drop it all right guys basically now i'm just going to try to catch some of these snapper and i see if something takes the tarpon bait that i got out there got him there we go guys little mangrove snapper check it out guys you got yourselves on the first fish of the day it's a little mangrove snapper obviously not the target species of the day but that is a pretty cool fish i mean look at that thing that is a gorgeous gorgeous fish all right let's go and get a release see you later buddy all right well one fish down All right, there's another little mangrove. Yeah, these things are fun to catch, but obviously not really what we came here for. I just noticed that since the was biting, I wanted to catch something here. We got it, guys, another little mangrove snapper. Let go of it, let go. Stop. All right, guys, we got a puffer eating it. Dude, we had a puffer. There we go. Yeah, finally got ourselves on the checkered puffer. That's a pretty cool looking fish. All right, as you guys can see, we got ourselves on the third fish of the day. This is a little checkered puffer fish. I've caught these in Florida before, so not a new species, but that is a pretty cool looking fish. Look, it's blowing up. Put him back down here, get this hook out, and send him on his way. Damn. Look at that. Beautiful conch shell. Has a, look at a snail living inside. All right. 
back, little guy. All right, guys. So sadly, I didn't catch anything else at that harbor. I had to leave actually in an hour. I don't know, guys. I'm disappointed I couldn't catch those tarpon. They were not fighting a lot. I threw the jerk bait, jigs, you know, rapalas. I actually have a pretty cool opportunity here, though. I found this flat. I saw some bonefish out here. Apparently, they also have some small sharks here and a couple other fish like barracuda and stuff. So let's see what else we can do. Let's get fishing. All right, guys. So we're going to start off today by throwing out this little top water. Let's see if some other little flat fish could go in and smash this thing. All right. Let's see what we can catch out here in the flat. There are rays out here and sharks, so I do have to keep my eyes open. Guys, look at it. There's a shark right there. That is really sick. Oh my God. I know you probably can't catch these guys in artificials, but there is a little uh, lemon shark swimming in the water right here. I'm gonna go ahead and tie on a shark rig, put on a piece of mahi. I'm gonna sight cast some of those sharks. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there was a lemon shark in the flats. One of those one that's probably more. So I got myself a little bit of a wire leader tied on. As you guys can see, wire leader with barrel symbol and a big piece of mahi at the end. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, there's a little cuda right in front of us right here. I was patrolling the flat. I am probably gonna switch off to a lure soon because there are apparently some tarpon back here. Big school of them. Guys, there is some serious stuff going on over here. Oh my God, he got it, he got it. <laughs> no, dude, a little cuda. A little cuda came up and grabbed it. Oh my God, that would have been so sick if I got there. I think he'll still take it because they're stupid fish. That was so cool. Guys, I think we got him. Oh, you've got to be joking. That sucks. I thought it was a uh, cooter, guys. The first fish of the flats. As you guys can see, little mangrove jack. All right, let's go and get a release. Oh, got him. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, are you kidding me? Well, here we got a little schoolmaster snapper. Again, not at all what I'm trying to catch. That must be what's blowing up on these fish out here, guys. Guys, uh, second fish of the day. Little uh, schoolmaster snapper. This jerk bait seems to be getting caught in the weeds. I'm gonna go and take that off right after we release this little guy. Right over here. Oh, that's some. Um, what do we got here? Oh. Uh. Snapper. All I seem to be catching today, guys. Schoolmaster and mangrove snapper. The, uh, I don't know what fish this is. Another schoolmaster. Oh, oh shark right here. I don't know if you guys see that. There's a little shark right over here. I think that was a shark. Come on, go back, go back, go back. All right, guys, we just started getting a hit on the shark bait. Got him. Got it. Pretty heavy. Shark. Yep. Lemon. We got a lemon. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. I just gotta get this thing to the shore. Look this little guy. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. It's funny how this really isn't much of a fight. It's just him being a fish and me being the person with the fishing rod, bringing him into the shore. Come on, fish, I think we got him, guys. Yep, and there we have it. First shark I've ever caught, just like that, dude. That is pretty freaking insane. Let's go, first shark I've ever caught, boys. Woo! First shark I have ever caught. These things do have teeth, so I gotta be careful, but Take a look at that thing, guys. That is one majestic fish. Marked a very historic moment in my own personal uh, fishing career, catching my first ever shark. That was pretty awesome, guys. Really, really stoked. I was finally ever to land a shark. Let's go. And that totally makes up for the coup that I lost earlier. So I'm really happy about that, guys. That was pretty awesome. Let's go and see what else we can catch.
Well, guys, that was really sick. I got another rig tied on right now. I have a barrel swivel and I got, this is about 40 pound mono. Now, I lost the shark rig because that was the only one I had. So there's a good chance I will be cut off, but we're going to try this out again, guys. That was really fun. And there's more out there. Let's see what we can catch. Uh, all right, well, fish cut me off. Look at that. Completely just sprayed and chewed off that line. All right, guys, we got a shark on here. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Uh, finally. That was fish. No, God. I keep on losing these things. Guys, fish right here. Fish. Yep, that's a fish on. What do we got? Oh, not a shark. What is this? Uh, hmm. Well, I should have guessed it. Big mangrove snapper. Snap the camera. Snap. Snap. Just want to snap. There we go, guys. Biggest mangrove snapper of the day. Took the shark bait, but yeah, pretty cool fish. Let's go and get a release of this guy. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Guys, check this out. We got two little sharks right here. Damn. All right, guys. Oh, got one there. There's a little shark right here. Is he gonna eat it? Yo, he's following it. He wants it. He wants it. Oh my God! Look at that! Look at he got in his mouth. The shark had it in his mouth. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that. Like, didn't continue to eat it. Oh, okay. There he goes. That was a little mangrove jack. Came over and smashed the lure and the shark came over. Started chasing the mangrove jack around. That was real sick. Alright guys, so let's get after wrap it up for today's video. Yeah, I think anything else. Yeah guys, today was a really awesome day though. Primarily because I caught the first shark of my entire life. It was really, really awesome. I was not expecting that in any way. We did lose a cuda and we ate some shots at some tarpon, but we lost those too. So it's alright, but Still caught that shark. That's a new species too, a lemon shark. So that's really awesome, guys. But sadly, guys, this is in fact the last episode of this St. John series. See, this is like the perfect place to end it, man. What can I say? It's been a, it's been a crazy adventure. Knocked off five new species and a shark. Uh, the all fish that I wanted to catch, not the ray, but the shark was th that was insane. Anyway, guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the view because this is. Uh, Really one of the wildest places on earth. I right, well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really hope you guys love this series just as much as I did. I love filming it. I love going out here. I love traveling around. And I love getting you guys amazing content all around the world. This is our first series we ever filmed in the Caribbean, which is really awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys on the next video back in New York. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.